What's good everybody? This is DJ Buster B. This is an updated video for the wireless 2.4 gigahertz transmitters and receivers for DMX that I've been using for the past several months. So far the past several weddings that I've done, it's been like your average normal wedding which is like 150 to 180 guests and which takes place in your normal size venue that most people are DJing at now. So far those areas the wireless transmitters and receivers have been doing great, excellent. No dropouts, no glitches, no nothing. It just works. And, but this past weekend was a real test. This past weekend, I was at a venue where we had about 530 to 540 guests show up for uh, it's a Cambodian wedding reception. And the venue was very big. I mean, it's like 100 and some feet across. A few years ago, I was at the same venue and I used my older wireless DMX transmitters and receivers. And that system, if you got about, sometimes every once in a while you see like a quick glitch of like the, the lights, like everything, like a lost signal for a quick second, but it was only very rare. I noticed it. Guess my they probably didn't notice it, but I did. And like if everyone was standing close to where I had the wireless transmitter, like a lot of people, like within 20 people around that area, sometimes it might block the signal just a tad bit. And same thing with the up lights that are on the floor with the receivers along the floor. And I had like six receivers in different locations around the room on the floor where the up lights were. And if you had a lot of people crowd around that area, sometimes the human body can absorb the radio the RF signal and block it just a tad bit and it made it a quick glitch. But with the 2.4 gigahertz system, this past weekend, I didn't have any of that. And this is the transmitter right here, very small. Same little rubber duck in the sit on my little table. Same places that have my up lights in there. Nobody blocked anything, everything worked. And also you gotta think about, we have about 500 some people. Everyone basically has cell phones nowadays. Cell phones, you have Wi-Fi. You have Bluetooth. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth operate on 2.4 gigahertz. This wireless system that I have now operates on 2.4 gigahertz. All of them are digital transmissions, but still, you have a lot of RF traffic on 2.4 gigahertz and the building had Wi-Fi. It's all bouncing around that room at one time. You got a lot of different signals on 2.4 bouncing and then you got receivers trying to listen in for the correct 2.4 gigahertz transmitter so it can pick it up correctly without any kind of dropouts. And with all that, with all that radio traffic going on, still, not one glitch, one dropout or anything on any lights. And certain times we had uh, guests lining up next to the table where I'm sitting at. The human body is blocking his antenna, but still the transmitter was able to send signals to these receivers across the room on the floor. So the, the light is in a metal case, metal housing, down on the floor next to a wall and it's still picking up everything without any dropouts. And these do not have a visible antenna. Everything is built inside. So you don't have to worry about a rubber ducky snapping off. I mean the transmitters, they have them but that's usually by your table or something like that. But anyway, this past weekend, everything worked great. And I want to give a big thanks to Jay Mathis down in Atlanta. I still, I'm still, i still gonna call you DJ Cash Money because I met you a couple years ago on YouTube as DJ Cash Money. But uh, he changed everything to DJ Jay Mathis. But um, he had this system about a year and a half ago. And so I called him up, asked for his opinion, so everything was working. He said everything was great. So I used his opinion and that influenced me on getting this system right here. Now granted, all wireless DMX systems do basically the same thing. You have a transmitter that's gonna send some kind of signal, some kind of data over a modulated signal to reach a receiver. Now how you send it 2.4 or whatever system you wanna use or whatever name brand, it's still gonna send a signal from a transmitter to a receiver. And basically that's just how your wireless DMX systems work. They basically all do the same thing. If you get a big name brand or a China brand like these, I mean these are all over Amazon and eBay, some actually like this one right here says, let's see if I can focus it. Name brand on here is Donor. Now they have other brands that aren't Donor, you know, they're basically exact same clone systems. So you have Donor, you have other systems out there, but uh, hopefully this one help answer some questions that anybody is out there looking to get into wireless DMX but not sure what system to get. I can tell you the donor does work. Work with my system, work with Jay Mathis system. I'm gonna put some clips in this video of how I had everything set up at the wedding reception that I was at this past weekend as far as how far away everything is from the transmitter, the location, and just pan around the room you know, to show you how the lights are and everything like that. But that's basically it. So that's it for this video. This is Busta B. I'm out here at the Cultural Center of India in Chesterfield County, Virginia. I'm doing a Cambodian wedding reception. They have a full band. I'm just doing up lighting only. And I'm actually using a new wireless 2.4 gigahertz donor 
transmitters and receivers. And I gotta say, this 2.4 gigahertz is working very well in this room. Last time I was in this venue, I used 16 up lights, five receivers, those are my old system. I had some a little bit of glitches here and there once the room got filled up, because tonight is gonna be about 500 here. Last time it was about 500 when I used the lighting. And sometimes when people have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi turn on with their phones, that can interfere. But this donor system is working very well. It has frequency hopping, piece of it gets interference, and it seems to be doing pretty good. As you can see, I'm all the way in this corner over here. And my setup is all the way All the way right over there. That's where I have the transmitter. And these things are doing good. And they're actually on the bottom of the lights, it's working very well. And that's the receiver, one of the receivers right here, which shows the distance of where the transmitter is.